Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. How, how was your day? Fine, teacher. Fine. Very, very easy, but fine. <laughs> very easy. What was easy about it? <laughs> My job uh, sometimes um, is easy, but okay. I. What 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 do you have? What, complicados. what do you have to do in your job? What are your duties? Um, la plaza R es um, relaciones laborales. Mm -hmm. Entonces veo todo lo relacionado con contrataciones y. Cuestiones de problemas de pago, entrega de cheques, finiquitos o sea, y todo es, eso. Es como de recursos humanos. Parte de recursos humanos. Ah, ya. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿Y, hay y veces que... Es ¿Dónde trabaja? Eh, One Link se llama, la empresa. One Link. Call Center. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Yeah. Call Center. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y, y aparte... Es, es chido. De ahí, no, 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 no. Juan Lee, me, me suena a, a me suena a, a chino. Juan de uno y Link. Ah, Juan Link. Juan, Juan Link, ya, ajá. Ya. Uh -huh. Ya, ya, ya. Estoy. Uh -huh. Cuando necesiten, cuando necesiten a alguien para inglés, me avisa. Sí, que no, y piensen que no que no lo necesiten ahí, sino que pueda trabajar desde la casa. Pues sí, están trabajando desde casa, pero tienen que llegar a traer el equipo y una serie de cosas. Entonces, sí, hay, hay ciertos momentos en los cuales sí tienen que llegar al sign. ¿Qué tipo de equipo? Eh, las herramientas de trabajo. ¿Cómo qué? Computadora, headset. Pero, ¿y si yo ocupo mi propia computadora? Lo que ahí. pasa es que como eso depende de cada cuenta. Ah, ya. Ya tiene ya sus políticas. Ah, ya. ya, ya. Oh, uh -huh. Sí, no, ahí estaría difícil porque ya ir hasta, hasta El Salvador. Y firmar todo. contratación, firmar ah, documentos de repente que requieren que se esté en presencia de SAI y todo lo demás. Ah, uh, ya, ya. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bueno, lástima. <risa> no, hay, es que yo tengo entendido que hay, hay gente que gana muy bien en call center. sí. ¿Cómo van en base a métricas, bonificaciones y todo lo demás? Bueno, a ver qué tal. Si llego por, si, si me toca regresarme a El Salvador, le aviso. Sí, usted me avisa. Bueno, <risa> uh, well, hi, Lizeth. Hola, Uticia. Muy bien. Good evening. Hi, Angelica. May God bless you. Well, the funny thing is that I thought that this class will be very short because it says only a little things about qualify quantifiers but then i started to i started to look for the quantifiers and then i get a lot of information that i will share with you now then let's start the class We will be talking about quantifiers. Uh, here we have Steve Jobs from 1955 to 2011. He said, the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do 
I guess that it, 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 it is missing it. It should say, who do it. Los que están lo suficientemente locos para creer que pueden cambiar el mundo son quienes lo hacen. Good. And I think I, I, I told my son something like this today because I I told him because he, he has a very good idea about what uh, education should be. And I told him that he is right, but he needs to go ahead to jump and to and to get in and get into the process to get to a place where he can change it. If he only said the education is not working, but he doesn't do anything to change it, then uh, he is wasting all that good ideas that he had about education. So he needs to go ahead and do something to change education. Okay. Uh, um, now, the lesson objective is, is that in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people talking about their family size using quantifiers. And we have Marcos and Meili. Now follow the follow the reading and then we will uh, practice it. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, now, what about you? Do you have a big family or a small family? For me, I have a big family. How many uh, siblings do you have? We are nine siblings. 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 Eight, eight siblings. Siblings. Eight is, both. Uh, both. Both. Uh, yes. Brothers and sisters. Yes. Uh, and they are eight. Eight siblings. Eight siblings. Wow. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and who is the older one? Who is the older? Is my sister, Lisette. Okay. And are you more sisters than brothers? Are you what? Are you? More human than men. Uh, no, only one. Yes, I have only one brother. Um, that's typical. Yes. They get a lot of daughters trying to find the, 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 the boy. Yes. <laughs> Good. And Lisette, what about you? How many siblings are you in your family? Lisette Esmeralda? No me oye. Carla Albergue? How many siblings do you have? In my case, teacher, only two. 
Only two. Two sisters. Two sisters. Two sisters. Then you are three. Yes. Three for all. And my family is is very small. Then, there is there is you and and two more sisters. Yes, but okay. uh, my sisters uh, are in the other. No, uh, say matrimonio. Ah, from other marriage. Okay. Yes. Okay. So in my case, you, you are, you are my grandmother. Child. You are the only my, child. Yes, yes. Um, my grandmother, uh, my husband, and my son. Only that. Okay. Good. Now, what about Jacqueline Patricia? How many siblings do you have? My family is small. Okay. Then how many siblings do you have? Brothers and sisters. Uh, one brother. One brother. Then it's just you and, and one brother. Yeah. Okay, fine. And Lourdes? I have one brother. One brother. Well, in my case, from my mother and father, I have only one brother. But from my father, I have my older brother who is already dead. He died in March this year. And from sorry. And my sister who is younger than me. And that's it. Then we we were from my brother from my father, we were uh, four. And from my mother and father, we were just two. Now, Veronica, how many siblings do you have? We are four. You are four? Yeah. Okay. Three sisters and one brother. Three sisters and one brother. And your brother is the youngest? Yeah. My brother <laughs> is the youngest. <laughs> is that the, the king? It, yes. In, in, yeah. in my case, my ex-husband uh, was looking for a daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, because uh, I, he had a daughter uh, from the previous marriage. Yeah. But uh, when I met him, she was about uh, six years old, something like that. And then... Uh, Uh, he he had some problems with the with, with the woman, and when I met him, he was already divorced about uh, four or or no six years before I met him. Then uh, I got three sons because he was looking for a daughter. In my case, uh, I have four kids, and my first, there are three boys and one girl. Okay, good. You got it. No, yeah, I, I got I, it. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I had three miscarriages, so I don't know if any of these miscarriages was a, a, a girl. <laughs> Might be. But the, the doctor said that it is strange that uh, I got pregnant because I suffer from hypothyroidism, something in the thyroid, and that is supposed not to let me get pregnant. But I have three children, three, uh, three sons, but I had three miscarriages mm -hmm. so be because of my problem. And uh, it was it, it, it was something because my my body doesn't recognize the pregnancy, and I keep bleeding in the first uh, quarter of the pregnancy. So it is very dangerous for me to have children. But there are my three sons, very big now. <laughs> 
Yes, I love them. They are miracles. Okay, okay. now uh, listen and repeat. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Listen and repeat. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Actually, I'm an only child. Actually, Actually I'm, I'm an only child. Only child. Really? 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 Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah, most families in China have only child nowadays. Have only one child nowadays. Have only one have child, only one child, child nowadays. nowadays. I didn't know that. I, I didn't, didn't know that. that. You know that if, if China keeps doing that, uh, they will reduce in, in sometime in the future. They will reduce their their um, population by half because if for every couple you only have one child, in time you will have half of the population. Okay. Maybe that's why they decided to do that. It, they should uh, let their people go to other places instead of doing that. Because, for example, in Germany and other Nor Nordic places, or other Nordic uh, countries, they have a problem that they have two old people and almost not uh, young people or or children. And in time, uh, the, 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 there are some areas where some uh, population, uh, some, some um, like towns, the little towns are disappearing because there are not other people to continue with the town because there were only old people there and when they die, there is nobody to stay there, okay? So in, in China, they have too many people, then they should export the people to those countries. <laughs> Good exportation. Now, um, what about you, Marcos? What about you, Marcos? What about you? What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I come, I come from, from a big family. family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I have, I have three I brothers have and two sisters. Two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Wow. wow. Is that typical in Peru? Adios? Not really. Not, Not really. really. A lot of families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great. But big families, but big families are, great. are great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Now, we have some boys here that I am not listening to. Then we will uh, divide it into men and women. Then men will be Marcos and women will be Meili, okay? Now, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Who is Meili, miss? 
No, los, los male son los son las mujeres, pero estoy esperando que los hombres digan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no les oigo repetir. Tenemos, tenemos algunos hombres aquí y, y claro. no los oigo repetir, entonces quiero escucharlos. How many brothers and How sisters, many brothers and sisters do you have mainly? Ok, thank you. Por lo menos dos están defendiendo el honor. <laughs> now, eh, now mainly are the girls. Actually, actually, I'm an only child. Actually, really? I'm actually I'm an only child. Only child. Okay. Now the Ben. Really? Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Most family in China have, have only, only one child, child nowadays. Okay. okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay. How about you, Marcos? How about you, Marcos? How about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. I come from a I big family. From a big I family. have a three brothers and two brother sisters. And two sisters. Okay, thank you. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Wow, wow. is that typical, typical in, Peru? in Peru? Not really. Hello? Not, Not really. really. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. A lot of families are, lot smaller families these days. are smaller these days. But big families are great. But big families are great. Big families are Be great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Because, because you get lots, lots of birthday, of birthday presents. presents. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Este, hay supuestamente 14 participantes. Entonces, este, le voy a pedir que este, vamos a hacer, vamos a los, los siguientes eh, diapositivas que les voy a presentar. Cada uno va a leer una de las diapositivas, ¿verdad? Este, si se equivocan en algo, les voy a corregir. No se sientan mal porque estamos aprendiendo, este, porque quiero que ustedes eh, practiquen. Si usted no practica, no va a aprender el otro idioma, ¿verdad? Entonces, esta es la oportunidad que usted tiene de hablar. Y yo veo que la mayoría no está hablando, ¿ok? Entonces, este, eh, preferiría que ustedes voluntariamente escogieran cuándo leer y no tener que decirles yo para que no se sientan como forzados, pero sí me gustaría que todos lo hicieran, ¿ok? Ok, entonces eh, vamos con esta. Eh, yo voy a leer el lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meaning. Now, a uh, volunteer, please. Uh, all me. All me too. Yes. Eh, lea, lea primero esto para abajo. Okay. Y después, eh, este, digamos, lea estos tres uh -huh. y, y lee esto. Okay. Uh -huh. All, nearly all, most. All families have only one child. Mm -hmm. Many, a lot of, some families are smaller these days. Mm -hmm. No many, a few, few. Couple have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Thank you. Good. Now, uh, if we notice, uh, 
here it is the percentage. Uh, 100 is all and zero is no one. Okay. If you notice uh, from all to few, we have a, a plural noun with them because they are talking ab about more than one person. But in the case of no one, we have get here, which means that we are having just one person, okay? Or is in singular. The, 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 the previous one from all to few is for plural and no one is the third, third, person. third person singular, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, um, someone else? Me. Okay, go ahead. Quantifier, nearly all, woman, work, no, nowadays, quantifier, plural noun, and okay. not uh, the quantifier is nearly all okay and the plural noun is human okay okay mm -hmm. no not almost all the quantifier are used before a plural noun okay as i told you okay uh, from all to few we have a plural noun so they are used before a plural noun uh, uh, someone else, please. Me. Go ahead. Quantifier, no one. Bear gets married before the age of 18. Mm -hmm. Not almost all quantifiers come before a plural noun, except for no one. Okay. That means that no one is uh, used with third person singular, okay? No one uh, is a quantifier, but also uh, when you say no one, you are referring to a third person singular, okay? So this is also the noun. It's the quantifier and it's the noun. That's why it comes after it, the verb, okay? Because uh, if you notice in the other one, we have nearly all human, here we have the noun, but here we don't have a noun before get, because in no one, it is the quantifier and also the noun, okay? Now, someone else? Alguien que lea? And me. Okay, go ahead. Quantifiers. We use quantifiers when we want to give someone information about the number of something, how much or how many. Sometimes we use a quantifier in the place of a determiner. Most children start school at the age of five. We ate some bread and butter. We saw, we saw lots of birds. Okay, thank you. Do you remember what is a determiner? ¿Se acuerdan que es un, de, un determinante? No? No, teacher. Vaya, digamos ese es así como cuando usted dice da, da children, o sea, T-H-E, children. Entonces, por eso es que dice que algunas veces los quantifiers toman el espacio de, de, o el lugar de un, determin, de un determinante. Porque, por ejemplo, en lugar de decir los niños, dicen la mayoría de niños. Yeah. ¿Ok? Entonces, este, en el caso sería da, T-H-E. Eh, 
también otro determinante que existen son los, 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 que son, eh, los que son indeterminantes, que sería a, an, ¿verdad? Pero eso es para un, una, ¿verdad? Y el otro es da, que es ya más, como más en general, que sí es determinante. Entonces, este, most children start school at the age of five. It, eh, aquí el, 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 el quantifier is must. Aquí we ate some bread and butter. El determinante, el quantifier aquí es some. Y el quantifier en el otro este es lots of, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos must, some, and lots of. ¿verdad? Esos son los quantifiers. Nos están dando eh, a entender como las cantidades. Y son usadas tanto como para, para eh, count nouns como para mass nouns o non-count nouns. Es lo mismo. Non-count nouns y mass nouns son lo mismo. Ok. Eh, ¿Son guaneos? Mi teacher. Eh, Vaya, eh, primero, primero una de ustedes dos y después en la siguiente la otra, ¿ok? ¿Quiénes fueron los que querían? Yo, es que ya casi me voy, entonces tal vez lo logré ah, hacer. Ah, vaya, pétele. Ok. Quantifiers quit count and con count nouns. Mm -hmm. We can use these quantifiers with both count and um, count nouns. All, some, more, a lot of, enough. No, any, most, lots of, less. Ok, solo déjenme hacer una aclaración. Eh, los countdowns, los que se usan con countdowns son los que están arriba y los que se ocupan con on countdowns son los que están abajo. Vaya, dele. Ok. We have lots, lots of time. Mm -hmm. Yo have lots of friends. Mm -hmm. I can go out. I got not I got no money. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of food, but no drinks. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, if you notice, uh, lots of time. This is non countdown. Lots of friends. This is countdown. So, lots of it. A lot of. Ok. And I can go out. I've got no money. No money. Money is non -town. And a lot of food. Food in this uh, uh, case is on count now and drinks is count now because when you have a plural it is count now now uh, the next these more colloquial forms are also used with both count and uncount nouns plenty of heaps of a lot of lots of Sons of. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of times. Joe has plenty of fr fr friends. Sorry, friends. There was heaps of food. Okay, thank you. Now, next. Don't uh -huh, go ahead. Some and any. Mm -hmm. we, we do not normally use the quantifier some in negative and interrogative sentence. We normally use any. Do you have any children? Did you see any friends? We, do, we don't have any children. Mm -hmm. I did see any friends. Mm -hmm. 
We saw some lions at this zoo, but we, I did not see any tigers. Okay, thank you. If you notice, we use some for uh, negative. Ne uh, negative and interrogative, but we normally use any for interrogative and also for negative, okay? We, we don't use some for negatives and for interrogatives. We use any, okay? Most of the time, okay? Sometimes we may use some uh, in interrogative form, but it's like when you are offering. We will see that later, okay? Uh, I will read this. Some quantifiers can be used only with count nouns. Not many, each, either, a few, several, both, neither, fewer. Those are quantifiers that are used only with count now. The other ones uh, can be used with both count now and on count now. Okay. Now, someone else? Yes. So, quantifier can be used only with encode. No, this more colloquial for are used only with con no. Mm -hmm. Not much, a bit of, a little. Mm -hmm. Would you like a little why? Win? Why? Could I, why? Mm -hmm. Okay. Could I have a bit of butter, please? Okay. Thank you. If you notice, we are using here a little and a bit of a, with count nouns, okay? Someone else? May I? Uh -huh, please. Quantifier. In this quantifier are used particularly with abstract nouns such as time, money, and trouble. A mm -hmm. uh, great deal, deal of, a good deal of. It will probably cost a great deal of money. He has spent a good deal of time watching tele television. Okay, thank you. Now, someone else? Matt. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Member of groups. We put a noun directly after a quantifier when we are talking about members of a group in general. Few snakes are dangerous. Most children like chocolate. And um, I never have no money. Okay. ¿Alguien más? Yo creo que ya pasaron casi todos, pero si alguien más se quiere repetir. Me, teacher. Ok, go ahead. Um, but if we are talking about members of a specific group, we use of the as well. Few of the snake they is this so are dangerous. Most of the boy at my school play football. He's spend all of the money that we have him, but of this chair is my office are broken. Not with all and about we don't need to use of 
uh, we can say all them and both them. Okay, that's why it, it is in parentheses because you don't need to say it, okay? Se puede decir, pero también se puede quitar. Okay. Now, someone else? Can I repeat, Miss? Yes. If we are talking about two people or things, we use the quantify both their and their. And One both, 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 either, either, and neither. Okay. okay. One supermarket, two supermarkets, more than two supermarkets. Mm -hmm. The supermarket was closed, but of the supermarkets were closed. All the supermarkets were closed. Mm -hmm. The supermarket wasn't open. Neither of the supermarkets was open. No one of the supermarket were open. Mm -hmm. I don't think the supermarket was open. I don't think whether of the supermarkets was open. I don't think any of the supermarkets were open. I don't know all means. Um... All the in the last. I don't think the last square, the last, the last, the last. Uh -uh, permítame. E ese creo que es el último. Sí. And I don't think oh, any oh, 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 ah, oh, aquí, oh. aquí es oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I don't think uh -huh. any of the supermarket were open. Okay. Thank you. Note, that nouns with both have a plural verb, but nouns with either and neither have a singular verb. Okay, notice? Either, neither, and either. Okay, have, um, this is, this is either. Okay, ne either and neither have a singular. Okay, it's was, was, okay, non were anywhere okay but he neither was either was both were okay eh, se dieron cuenta la diferencia del uso cuando decimos both se ocupa el plural were cuando yes. decimos neither or either se ocupa was Okay. Okay. Now, someone else? We use the quantifiers every and each with singular nouns to mean all. There was a party in every street. Uh, equals there were parties in all the streets. Mm -hmm. Every shop was decorated with flowers equals all the shops were decorated with flowers. Mm -hmm. Now, each child was given a prize equals all the children were given a prize. There was a prize in each competition. There were prizes in all the competition. Okay. When you use each, it is with, with was, okay? But it means, it, the, the meaning is a plural thing, but you can write it as a singular, okay? 
when you are used each. Porque es, cada uno va a recibir un premio. Pero entonces, si va a haber un premio para cada uno, va a haber más de un premio. ¿Verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Eh, next. Hello. Well, we often use every to talk about time, like days, weeks, and years. When we were children, we had holidays at our grandmother's every year. Okay? We often use every to talk about times like days, weeks, and years. When we were children, we had holidays at our grandmother's every year. Okay? Cada año. Every day. Cada día. Every Christmas. Cada este, Navidad. Uh, every Mother's Day. ¿verdad? Every uh, Saturday. Every weekend. Okay? When we use every, we are talking in this case, we are talking about days, weeks, years, or events, okay? Now, repeat. When we were children. When we, when were, we were children. children we had holidays. We, we had, had holidays. At our grandmother's every year. At our at grandmother's, our grandmother's every year. year. When we stayed at my grandmother's house. When we stayed at my grandmother's house. Grandmother house. We went to the beach every day. We went to the beach every day. Every day. We visit our daughter every Christmas. We visit our daughter every Christmas. Okay. Now, every and each. We don't use a determiner with every and each. Every shop was decorated with flowers, not the every shop. Okay, we don't use the determiner, the, when we are using a quantifier, okay? Each child was given a prize, not the each child. We don't use the determiner. That's why the determiner is placed instead of uh, the, the, the quantifier is placed instead of the determiner, okay? Because you can say the child, you can say the shop or the shop. But yes. if you are going to use quantifier, you take out the determiner and use the quantifier instead. ¿Se entendió eso? Yes. Ok. Thank you. <laughs> Ahora sí, nos vamos a regresar a hacer como era bastante lo que había que leer. Este, esto, esto no está en la plataforma, pero lo van a tener en el PPT que ya se lo voy a compartir. Este... Hoy vamos a hacer eh, lo que es el, el, el diálogo, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a hacer en parejas. Este, ¿Lo quieren hacer aquí o lo hacemos en los rooms? Aquí, Ticha. Aquí está bien, Ticha. Aquí está bien, vaya, perfecto. Entonces, este, volunteers. Mi teacher. Ok, go ahead. Teacher. Eh, Verónica en Jack. Yes. Ok, go ahead. Who we'll start? Eh, la primera que dijo. En el orden que dijo. Tenemos tres. Verónica, usted primero porque se quiere ir a su casita. 
Ok, ya, ya estoy en la casa, gracias a Dios. ¡Ah, ya llegó! <risa> ¡Wow! ¡Ya! <risa> <risa> estoy cerquita aquí. <risa> Vaya, ahorita, ahorita le. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Bailey? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. Um, sorry, I can see. Uh, what about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of the birthday present. No me preocuparía por los birthday presents, sino que the 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 most family you have, the most family you you have to love. The, yeah. the more the most family the more uh, the more family you have you have you 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 can bring more love and you can receive more love supposedly because there are some people that do not live each other they don't love each other even if they are family so yeah, it, it, love love is is care nowadays case se está escaseando el amor en estos días now eh, Other two volunteers? For me, miss. Okay, go ahead. And who else? Ken Max? Eh, levante la manita porque no lo ve. Jan si lo pidió y Ken Max. Yes. Bueno, Daniel Jeremías, could you help us? Okay. Okay, you are Marco. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I'm uh, only child. Really? Yeah, my family in China have only one child, no one day. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big family are great because you get lost of bearded present. Okay, thank you. Now, who else? Jing Mas, quieres seguir? Por ahí levantó alguien la mano y me la quitó. Ay, no vi quién fue. Ahí está. Janet del Rosario y Carlos Membreño. Go ahead, Carlos, you are first. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I... I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families child had only white child nowadays. I didn't know what that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, thank you very much. No sé si ustedes lo han notado, pero yo, yo me he dado cuenta en la diferencia de cuando empezamos a hacer esto a cómo están haciéndolo ahorita. O sea, como que aunque sea de vez en cuando estar haciendo los diálogos les ha ayudado a saltar un poquito más la lengua. No, no lo han notado ustedes en ustedes mismos. Hay más confianza en mis. Uh -huh. yeah. no, y esa es la idea. O sea, entre más practica usted, mejor. Ok. Now, other two volunteers. Janet. 
And who else? In Floridalia, okay? Janet first and then Flor. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Miley? Actually, I'm only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child. Uh, child, no. Nowadays. Nowadays. Como? Nowadays. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I had three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family. I, I smell her this, this day. The family are great because you get a lot of birthday present. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers. Uh, Lisette Esmeralda and Mateo. Mateo, you go first. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, my families and China have only on child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Now, other two volunteers. Josue Gonzalez, do you want to? Josue Gonzalez? Hello, Tisha. Uh, do you want to help us? Yeah. Okay, Melida Sarai. Um, Melida? Do you, want, do you want to help us? Yes. Okay, now Josue, go ahead. Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Maggie? Actually, I, I am um, only shy. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have two brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, thank you very much. Eh, ¿Alguien que haya faltado? Yo, teacher. Okay, go ahead. ¿Alguien más? No. Okay, do it. Do you have Maili? Actually, I am uh, I am only chair, chill. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child, no weapons. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big family are great because 
you get lots of birthday present. Okay, thank you very much. Now, remember that you uh, should uh, be finishing uh, the test by tomorrow, okay? Because uh, on on Thursday is the last day and you should be finished all the platform by that day. Most of you already have finished and just waiting for the certificate. And congratulations, you were doing very well. And congratulations to you all because I really noticed how you are improving. Que en realidad me doy cuenta cómo, cómo están mejorando and that's your own effort. Es su propio esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Es algo porque, uh, as, I told to, uh, as I told anybody, I said, if you have Albert Einstein explaining you physics, but you don't want to learn, you are not going to learn. <laughs> si de nada sirve que uno eh, tenga lo mejor de lo mejor explicándole, si usted no quiere poner de su parte. En cambio, usted puede tener muy malos profesores, pero si usted quiere aprender, usted aprende. ¿Verdad? Porque el aprendizaje es algo que requiere más de el, este, la motivación intrínseca, ¿verdad? Que de la extrínseca. O sea, intrínseca es que viene de usted y extrínseca es que viene del exterior. Si su aprendizaje va a depender de alguien más, estamos fritos, ¿verdad? Porque la mayoría de profesores no se preocupan porque usted aprenda. Entonces, pero si la motivación de aprender es suya, entonces usted va a llegar a hacer de lo mejor. Porque este, no va a importar lo que esté alrededor suyo, porque usted está motivado y usted quiere salir adelante, ¿verdad? Entonces, see you tomorrow. See you, Mace. Okay. Good night. See you, good night. Good night. Good night. Eh, a propósito, ya, 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 mandaron, ya mandaron sus papeles para, para el próximo curso. Yes, teacher. Sí. Yes, teacher. No, para yes, estas alturas ya la mayoría debe de haberlo mandado, es que algunas veces se les olvida, ¿verdad? Ok. Bye bye. Okay. See you. Bye bye. bye, bye. Take care. See you. Bye, bye. Take care. Take care.